So, Tom, what do we talk about this episode? We talked about... What did we start with? We started with some trailers. It was trailers. Thor yeah. and Star Wars. Both. New Star Wars, Last well, Jedi. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they, yeah, are we'll they good? Out. Are they bad? Find out. <laughs> and then, then we talked about good news. Good news came back with a surprise twist. Yeah. Big, big surprise big twist. Big surprise twist. Uh, we chat. We chat. Do we like it? We don't. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> and then... Was it Hong Kong? And Logan. Logan. Because we're yeah. well behind the times. We're behind the times, but it's a good segment on Logan. So it's a bit of ranting. You'll probably enjoy it. If you're into any of those things, you'll probably enjoy it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> interesting things said by uninteresting people. You're hosted by Ben and Tom. Interesting things. Said by uninteresting people. Hello and welcome to another episode of Interesting Things Said by Uninteresting People, uh, a podcast where we just talk about whatever we've found interesting over the last few weeks, right? Anything. Uh, my name is Ben and I'm joined as always by the very, very handsome Tom. <laughs> it's just not true. <laughs> but welcome to season two. It is season two, mate. We're, we're out of the initial period now. For anyone that's still here... Well done. We're really sorry. Yeah, we're really sorry. <laughs> Prizes. It's been a while. It's been a while it's since we while. did the last one. There's a... When was the last one? It was with Andy. Uh, it was. It was the, it was Andy, the, the end of season cliffhanger, wasn't it? With... <laughs> cliffhanger. <laughs> Will Randy come back for the next episode? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, how have you been? It's, I know I know one yeah. big thing that you've been, but... Uh... One big thing, yeah, I've been, been away. Oh, been man. away. Um, yeah. Yeah, really good. Really good. It's been like a really cool month. Yeah, like a really cool month with with the with the mini kind of boycott tour and then and then Course obviously man. yeah 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 uh, going to Hong Kong for two weeks. Man, spoilers for oh, the podcast. Man. Spoilers, <laughs> man. Spoilers. Snip it. Yeah, it has um, been. A, was good. Hong Kong good in like a, in a yeah, in a one in a, sentence? In a nutshell, yeah, it was. It was really cool, and we had a really good time, and we'd we'd go back. Yeah, yeah. Probably not for as long. Not, okay. not not like it's a bad thing, but we we'd done everything we wanted to do. So on, on the last day, we were, we were ready to okay. come back, like yeah, fair in enough. a good way. Like, cool, I'm sorted. I've done everything I wanted to do here. Yeah, let's go. We sh- we should talk about that more. Yeah, at some point, maybe in this episode. Oh, who you knows? Know um, dude, I'm I'm enjoying the fact that it's actually lightening up a little bit. Yeah, it's nice to not sit in the dark. Not that yeah. we do. We switch the lights on and stuff. But although I have to be honest, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have to be honest. The first weekend that it was anyway sunny. I was out making. Uh, I was out helping my uh, my future father in law make a wooden fence in the garden. Really? Because it's about as rural and manly. As You're you like can get. carpentry man at the moment, dude. Oh, I didn't Sweet, say. Dude. I didn't say it was a good wooden fence, but <laughs> yeah, anyway, it was a fence. It was, but it was also the first day when the sun decided to actually come out, and uh, and my girlfriend was saying, "You need to put on some sun cream." You need to put on a hat. You need to get ready. I was like, ah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> what? Dude, I was the colour of a beetroot. I was actually, <laughs> oh, no. I was explaining to uh, to Tom before we started recording that if I start sloughing off big chunks of skin, oh. I'm not a leper. What was it you said? If I if I step backwards and leave like my <laughs> yeah. skin behind. A big exoskeleton <laughs> like a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's been a, it's been fun times, man. Um, we I know we want to talk about this very briefly, but there's also been some good cinematic news for yeah, the upcoming year a couple definitely. of films that i know we're we're interested in one of the first things you asked me was have you seen star wars trailer yeah i take it that's because you have yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did yeah. you think what was it like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> please tell me about it i thought it looked awesome i thought yeah. it looked really, really good and the good thing about it is that we it didn't lead anything on i've got no idea what's going on in that trailer it's sure. all kind of little snippets there's obviously like classic explosions and stuff but there's yeah, no yeah. there's no sense of storyline there it was like raised being trained, maybe it looks it's, like, yeah. it's hinted yeah. at. It's, yeah. it's, but yeah, I don't know. Don't know what's going on. I'm I'm excited to see uh, Luke Skywalker's character in it. To be honest, yeah, I am a lot as well. Um, I it's because it's not. I I did have an idea, if I'm honest, of how I I would have loved to have seen his character uh, have developed. Yeah. Although I, I think I never expected. I don't think it's going to happen. I never really expected it to happen. But you know, uh, you've seen Watchmen. Yeah. You know, uh, Doctor Manhattan's general malaise just his general view on life because yeah, he's this all-powerful being yeah but doesn't want to get involved you know he has and then when he th- he thinks he's more harm than good towards the end yeah he decides i would i would have loved to have seen luke skywalker filling that role yeah to be this because that would be a neat end to his original trilogy arc as well yeah because you never really see him become this 
master. No. And I would have loved that. Yeah, I thought yeah, that would have been quite a cool idea. Like the next Yodery kind of like yeah, really, yeah. really powerful. But like. then but then, you know, the, the kind of guy who's like effortlessly just flinging rocks around or whatever, but then yeah. says, I'm not coming to get involved. Yeah. Because the last time I tried to cha- a train Jedi, this is what happened. Yeah. But I don't know. He does it oh, in the trailer. What is it he says? It's, it's time for the Jedi to end, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But mate, I read a really interesting thing on that day. Okay. Whereas um, it's on the verge. Maybe we'll post the link below. Um, where he there's like a breakdown of the trailer, but there's a there's a really specific segment on the, it's time for the Jedi to end. Uh-huh. And it's kind of saying what you were saying. He's saying that every time in the past, even back to Episode One, they're saying every time a Jedi gets involved in anything. And you've got to remember a Jedi in, in that world is a religious order. Yes. It yeah, escalates yeah. things. So if some if they, you know, in episode one, when Qui-Gon Jinn goes to, he's like an ambassador. They're going they? to yeah. the trade federation. Yeah, he's yeah, just there. Yeah. He's just there. But you know for a fact that if they're sending those sorts of powerful people, that they're sending the muscle. They're yeah, not sending, yeah. they're sending a message. That's not a diplomat. Yeah. And I get the impression that Luke has like, no, every time a Jedi gets involved, things go bad, yeah, bad, yeah. bad. And maybe that's why he's like, not interested. That'd be cool. I don't want to be part um, of anything. I won't Maybe. dwell on this now because it's it's kind of a separate topic. But I will link the article uh, in the in the notes. The I forget where I read. I'll hunt it down. There, basically, someone was making the argument that there was uh, a story for episodes episodes one through three that George Lucas missed a trick on. Yeah, where he was saying it could have been that you portrayed the light side of the force being as bad as the dark side yeah. because they repress their followers. You know, yeah, they're very yeah. dogmatic. They say, no, this power must be held, you know, held yeah. away. Uh, and it could have been the story of how Anakin was being bullied and pushed and pulled between the two until he eventually snapped. And it could have been a, a story saying, look, this light side action isn't as good as you think it is. No, uh, I'll link, I'm not going to butcher the, the ins and outs of it, but it's an interesting read. I'll, um, oh, cool. I'll link it up. But yeah, but I thought good. it looked really cool. Generally looked awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm sure it would be good. Lots of space, you know, swashbuckling. Yeah, swashbuckling bit of, adventure. Bit of space dog fights, yeah. <laughs> Poe Dameron. He's a really cool character. I really like him. I think yeah. they've done a really good job with I'm aspects glad, of it. I'm glad they kept him as well, because yeah. weren't they going to get rid of him? That was a I late... I think that was a change in Force Awakens. He was going to have died in the crash. Oh. But then in test screenings, or, or it was at some point in the production process, they went, actually... He's awesome. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's keep, keep him around. Fair enough. Um, the other trailer? Yes. Thor. Man, dude. After it looks my, cool, doesn't it? It, it looks, looks cool. I may do, I'm really, really. I would find it hard pushed to say which I'm more excited about between the two. Yeah, I, it's fun. I was I've, showing. Sorry, go yeah, on. Yeah, no, I'd be more. I think I'd be more excited for Star Wars just because of that. The whole journey, but sure, four looks yeah. so good. It looks so so good, man. I'm after butchering Taika Waititi's name the last time we. Yeah, uh, I think were we talking about Thor or were we talking about? Was hunt, it? It was Hunt for the Wilder People. I think I'm what we might yeah, be talking about. Which, I don't know. I, I, I never pay any attention. What we do in the shadows, and that was so good, dude. Yes, yes. So funny. It's that same level of humor that it looks like he's yeah. bringing into thought. Oh man, I can't. When he says like, "Oh, he's a friend from work." Yeah. that's, that's <laughs> yes. the sort of thing you'd see in that sort of stuff. Exactly, dude. The Chris Hemsworth just deserves straight up Oscar for the delivery of that. Yes, yeah. When he starts shouting, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> it's he just sells it completely. Yeah, he sells, sells it. You know, probably first take as well. Like, yeah, yes. oh, man, it'd have to be. But apparently, this is. Um, Compared to, uh, I know we, we weren't going to talk about this. Have you seen the Spider Man trailer? Yeah. Which basically tells you the story of the film condensed. It's yeah, almost yeah, like cliff it does. notes. It, it's like. It looks very Marvel standard yeah, affair. Yeah. I still think it looks good. I think it looks great. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, it looks more like a but, classic. But in the trailer, it's almost like, right, this is going to happen. Then this is yeah. going to happen. Then this Iron is Man's going to be around. Clearly, I'm going to be around. Yeah. yeah. Then the Vulture will come down. You're trying to save some people. Iron Man take the suit. Then have to fight. You know, it's, it's all yeah, laid out beat for back. beat. Yeah, know? yeah. In the Thor trailer, uh, word is that that's all uh, very early in the story. Everything's oh, really? In the trailer, yeah, because people have said it's mainly like a buddy movie between Thor and the Hulk. Oh, that's which cool. is going to be insanely good. Dude. Yeah, if that, well, it should be. It should be really funny. Yeah, because yeah. it, it, he's obviously about to fight him, isn't he? At that point in the yeah, trailer, yeah. and that looks great anyway. Uh huh. Because obviously, like, he's been punched by the Hulk before, and he's obviously been fine. Yeah, Do you know sure. What I mean? Like, everyone yeah. else would die <laughs> straight away. But yeah, it looks yeah. awesome. It's going to be cool, man. Um, Tom, what's uh, what's the famous segment that, uh, good that news. comes next? So, Tom, what's uh... the good news? Good news segment, which has been historically known for being the best segment, <laughs> the segment say, people patchy. look forward to, <laughs> but patchy. Let's be honest, <laughs> patchy. It started so strong. We had good high hopes. <laughs> have we have we got any good news this week? Um, 
do you know what? I've actually outsourced good news <laughs> this week <laughs> because I had some, but I didn't want to do it any injustice by not rereading the article yeah, before but... <laughs> I spoke about it. So actually, my uh, my coworker Ben is going to fill us in on some good oh, news. Oh, fair enough. Well, actually, I, that's lucky. I do have some good news. Mm. Oh, well, uh, do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like you knew. Um, this is. We decided. I don't know. Should we introduce? I don't know. This isn't really a proper segment, but we basically. I think got, it will be. Uh, Just, maybe. Maybe. Have a little, little theme for it. Good news. Do, 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 do. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's basically we just get fed up with quite depressing. I think this came out. We started this idea when Trump got elected. Yeah, I think yeah, that had a big was, part yeah. to do with it. So the good news that we've uh, that we've come across for this podcast, there's uh, there's a company called Other Lab in San Francisco. It's not that long of a story to tell you about this, but it's, it's not quite a cool idea. Yeah, um, they've developed a disposable drone uh, for delivering medicine yeah. and other supplies. Uh, it's it's made out of cardboard. Which it, is mad. It's, it's absolutely Which insane, dude. I love it. I absolutely love it. Because um, it's so low tech. Yeah. Uh, it's but, like the Google kind of like, you know, the VR headset is made out of cardboard. Yes. Yeah, it's exactly. Like similar vibe. Apparently, it takes about an hour to assemble, which, to be fair, I don't know what they're doing for an hour. You know, just fold yeah. it and get the sticky tape. Hurry up. Yeah, Ga- yeah. They don't list gaffer tape, but <clears throat> I suspect gaffer tape's involved. <laughs> yeah. uh, a lot of it. <laughs> and they, and yeah, and they, they're disposable. They biodegrade. So you can use it for, and they're quite cheap as well. That's the thing. Yeah. Which is cool because if you think about it, when we're talking about biodegradable, yeah. because if you, if you flew, I assume they're for like war zones and stuff. Exactly. If you're flying yeah. in like medicine. Then people could easily, if it wasn't disposable, like you know, rebel groups could take that yes. and then repurpose it as yeah, like a yeah. killing machine, as you know opposed what? to. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, side that's of that's it. why it's so good because obviously they couldn't reuse cardboard. And to be honest, if it's made out of cardboard, when it when it crashes, it's most likely fucked. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is it. It's not going to land safely and kind of sh- yeah, it's <laughs> jet its way down. <laughs> We're both doing the off. hand thing. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like Tom, watch this. <laughs> 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 yeah. Great podcasting, um, yeah. Uh, and, and it's the the drone uh, abbreviates to Apsara, and I cannot tell you what that stands for. It's it's like air uh, provision supply and something. Uh, it's yeah, it's a pretty good job. Yeah, Apsara. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a pretty good, pretty good name. But the, the thing they're struggling with, isn't it? Um, is the electronics inside? They're trying yeah. to find a way to decompose those as well. Yeah. But they're doing it, dude. I mean, they're, they're cool. on the way. It's not like they've gone. Oh. We can't, we can't do the electronics. They're saying, right, we just we yeah, need to do this bit of work and we need to figure it out. And it'll be there because I think they, um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be that mushroom compound as well, yeah, not rather than cardboard in the finished ones. So, so they could super- eat it. Oh, if they could eat it after, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. You could free, you could fly them directly into your mouth, mate. Yeah. Just <laughs> get the mini ones. Does the medicine while it's in there? Yeah, <laughs> just <fly it> straight <laughs> in. Or unwieldy toddlers. Yeah. Instead of flying the aeroplane in, you can fly the aeroplane in. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me wonder though if they if they are thinking of electronic stuff that biodegrade maybe they could use bio stuff that would yeah. actually just dis- not dissolve but like if they use an organism that can conduct electricity yes. or something and then they yeah. would die from like no fit well who knows yeah yeah but I know there's like certain things that can do that well this sure. is crazy man but do you remember when we talked about CRISPR yeah who knows maybe they yeah. like an algae they can they can make that, like lives for a week or something yeah or what, and just. Dies. And doesn't yeah, just have it grow on the you know in the right shape it, for the in circuit. The board. Oh, Who dude, knows? That's weird. Yeah, if it could grow in the right bits for the circuit yeah. board, and then it dies. Ooh, that weird. could be really weird. Yeah. Who knows? Mate? It might be like something out of well, any alien sci-fi where they have biotech. Yeah, you know, it's like Halo. They, they... Yeah, and it's like white and it bleeds yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. like oh weird god! Stuff. It'd be like oh god, what's the name of that film? Is it Existence? I haven't seen it. Uh, have you not seen? Ex- oh man, no. dude, it's it's not great. It's not a brilliant film. <laughs> it's not great, but it's very <laughs> weird. Where he's making a gun out of his teeth. No, I it's, haven't seen. Oh, that. dude, you have to watch Existence. Um, oh, that sounds weird. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I want to say it's Brendan Fraser. I'm I'm. If I'm wrong, right, just from the Mummy thing. Yeah, yeah, but pre the Mummy. If I'm wrong on any of this, I'm sure everyone will leave comments all over the place. Like you're an idiot. <laughs> avid listeners. But <laughs> the avid listeners. Actually, will, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it was come out after the mummy. Um, <laughs> no, basically, it's it's about a video game that you plug into, yeah, uh, kind of matrixy, but yeah. not that. Not uh, that it it paints thing. the wrong picture of the film, you know. Yeah, but it's that same kind of virtual reality world, but uh, but there are, there are crimes being committed and there's intrigue and there's a bit mm. where a guy makes a gristle gun out of something he finds in his food and he uh. takes some of his teeth out and makes that's the bullets. Oh, dude, it's it's weird, but yeah. Didn't weird. think we'd be talking about existence when I came in this evening. No. <laughs> but that's um yeah, that's, that's good, good news, news, man. Yeah. Yeah. That is good news though. That's really cool. That's really cool. 
Do you know what isn't really cool? What? Uh, our WeChat experiment. No, it wasn't cool at all. We need to hold a moment of silence just to... For uh, WeChat. Yeah, just for WeChat. We, I don't know if anyone was listening to the last... That was the last episode, wasn't it? The yeah, we, we, we talked about having too many messaging services and then WeChat yeah. and all that sort of thing. Yeah. See, that sounds like a problem you'd want to fix, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Turns out <laughs> it's that, that when we said, how can, you know, how can millions of Chinese people be wrong? It turns out they can. <laughs> yeah. uh, because they because, bloody can. Yeah. WeChat is uh, it's a, it's a chat app. Is yeah. it? It's a messaging it's, app. In layman's terms, it's, it's basically WhatsApp yeah. repackaged, but not as good. What's crap, though? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Slam. <laughs> Roast it. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's supposed to... What did you hate most about it? Oh, man, what did I hate most about it? Um, okay, <laughs> I think my main issue with it was that it just feels unfinished. Yeah. To me. I don't, it, it's probably perfectly functional. Yeah. But it just looked like an unfinished WhatsApp, like a tester, like a beta version WhatsApp. Dude, there were so many things I hated about it. It was. It, it, um, I wanted to try it for the uh, for the the PC, like you know, the web based, the web yeah, browser yeah. Uh, version of it. But that doesn't sync properly. It'll only oh. so you so you turn on the web browser, you sign in, you know, standard yeah. uh, WhatsApp style QR code. But then it doesn't load up any of your previous conversations. It's all blank slates. It knows the conversation. Yeah, it says people. you've been added. Or something yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. But oh, then it's all blank. That's rubbish. So then anything, but then anything that happens on your phone or on the browser is added to that. And you close the browser, open it back up again, and it's all gone. That's really, I didn't, I didn't explore the web version. Yeah, dude, it's. It's weird because WhatsApp web, which I use on my PC and Mac, is, yeah. is awesome. It Absolutely. works really well. Agreed. Agreed. There's no problems with it at all, actually. Um, obviously, we'll talk about Hong Kong in a minute, but I did, I had a, obviously, saw a lot of people on phones. Do everyone out sure, there. yeah. Everyone out there had a massive always a always a big screen phone there's never any small phones big screen phone always connected to portable charger it seemed everybody had one really? like pretty much everyone i saw ev- it's probably like one in three people i saw was charging their phone but it felt like a lot because you never see yeah, it over here yeah. but yeah constantly on charge people on them tw- like literally all the time what do you think is that? So is that the heavy usage? Yeah, I think or so. It's not just like uh, no, it's I've, not just part of the culture to keep them going. Or no, I think it's just super heavy usage because they're on they're on them all the time, and uh, they they're like, they're, like yeah, they're someone yeah. else. You know, they, they are they're on it a lot. Um, but they were using Line for chat. Okay. I noticed pretty much everyone that I glanced though, I didn't want to be like, Ooh. what are you using? <laughs> Dude, one thing I did notice, which was really strange, was obviously to write. Um, I think it's called. I'm not sure if it's called ka- kanji. Kanji, the, yeah. Yeah, kanji. Yes, yeah. To write the kanji, um, a lot of people I saw were, was writing it with their finger and then it recognises, you know, so if we were to write oh. hello, like we'd write yeah, it out, but they, yeah. they draw it and it kind of guesses it. But I also saw loads of people talking in English on it, okay. which was I thought was really weird, but maybe because it's easier to type English yeah, than it is to yeah. draw out the kanji. And I don't maybe. know how many kanji there are. Uh, it depends on the language. I, I think it's. I, I think I'm, it might just be specifically kanji in Japanese, maybe. Yeah, I'm not but sure. It's, but it's. It, it, I know there's depending on the dialect, depending on the language, there are potentially hundreds. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you can understand why. I mean, I, because you, I might again, I might be really wrong on this, but I think you hear about people actually writing out rom, uh, romanicized, uh, so in, like English alphabet. Yeah. Uh, versions of the language and typing like that instead. Oh really? Um, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of different versions oh, that people weird. use for, for electronics. But yeah, I did a lot of people like drawing really quickly. Yeah, but yeah. like really detailed, like you know, like oh, swipe. Cool. I'm doing lots of swiping. Yeah, yeah. I can see. Yeah, I can see. It. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they're, yeah. they're really quick. But it was, it was weird to see because I don't. You don't see anybody over here writing the words. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. just on the keyboard. Maybe the, yeah, maybe that is just because you can't really have like a keyboard for all of. Yeah. For did all it even Kelly would said she's like, why is everyone drawing? Hmm. Uh, things, it, was, it was obvious like, yeah, a lot of people yeah. were doing it it's very odd um, okay maybe yeah. that's why they have bigger phones maybe because they're a lot like the like the old notes and things with, yeah. the, with the styler styli the, styli <laughs> very very uh, very few Apple yeah phones I saw out there it's mainly Android that's a shame Pr- man, pretty much all Android you could have probably walked in and sort of said to them actually I'm sponsored I need to I need to <laughs> come and do your phone I'm sponsored by <laughs> I need to take your phone off you do, um I was, we'll have to talk about it in a bit. Do we, should we talk about Logan first? We can, absolutely, mate. Because yeah. I do have beef with it. 
Right, fine. In that case, let's yeah. Sure, we'll move on. We'll do. We basically we've been talking about how we wanted to talk about Logan for a while. It's been out a while. <laughs> it's been out. A while. Um, turns out it's still in a few cinemas because uh, when I did when I did a little bit of memory refreshing before we sat down to record, apparently in Exeter it's still showing. We could have gone Is to it? see it. Yeah, if we leave now, <laughs> we can still we catch could probably it. Probably catch it. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, and we but we definitely wanted to talk about it. So I guess full spoilers from the word go. Yeah, because definitely. it's been out full a while spoilers. and. Yeah. I know the very brief chat we had beforehand, a lot of what we wanted to talk about yeah. is is unavoidably spoilery. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, so spoilers from the get-go. Yeah. So we'll give you a couple of seconds now just yeah. to amuse yourself while you get out, get your iPod out. And <laughs> they'll probably, if, if anyone skips on, they'll just skip <laughs> a bit. It's like, oh, and bloody hell, and then this happens. Yeah. So like, yeah. No. <laughs> but it's your own fault. <laughs> okay, Tom, what did, you, what did you think of Logan, mate? Let's, if you, yeah, go for um, it. Let's try and think. I didn't like it. Pretty not. Oh, oh man, don't hold back. Uh, don't hold don't back. Hold back. <laughs> okay, right. I didn't like it, and the main reasons I didn't like it is because it felt like there was such a massive disconnect from that film to all the others. There was no, and you know, some people may like the fact that there's no explanation between two. It was hinted at. It was like, oh, no mutants been born in twenty years. It's like, mm. well, they all died. Yeah. Where are they? Yeah, yeah. Like, what what happens between that from there for them to get to where they are? Because the whole film is basically almost post apocalyptic. Yeah, yeah. It's it's tone, it's outset, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Why is he driving a bloody limo around? <laughs> like, what a weird job to get if you want to be low key about stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, oh, sure. I meet people all the time in my limo who I drive people around. In. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a weird job for him to have. Yeah. Um. I thought from the get-go, it was so obvious that he was going to die as well. Sure. The, the amount yeah. of references they made to him being ill and all this sort of stuff, I was like, "Yeah, yeah." oh, come on. Like, And everyone's like, oh, Logan, you, you're not well. And he's like, shut up, shut man. Up. And I'm, I'm, like, oh, I'm I fine. You don't yeah. have to keep telling us that he's ill. We can see he's ill. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I really disliked that big disconnect. Sure. I thought it was really obvious where it was going. Um towards the end like yeah where, when when he does die it's so obvious it's coming yeah, it's almost yeah. unbearable yeah because yeah, just... he gets hit so much and it's like oh man here could, we go could, yeah, yeah here we go he's obviously gonna die at this point <laughs> yeah yeah um i didn't like the other wolverine i thought he was really annoying uh-huh yeah yeah <laughs> i was just, sure. just like oh and they've just got this one laying around like yeah <laughs> you've got a God's spare sake. kicking around i didn't like how you didn't see Stephen merchant's powers it was just like, oh, I can track them. Yeah, but you don't but see it. But there's no... Yeah. Fi- you know, fine. When Prof- Professor X does die, yeah, it made me wonder why they kept him around at all. Because what does he do for the whole film? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> he, get, he gets yeah. in trouble. Like, he makes things worse, regardless of yeah, where he was. Yeah. The only good thing he did was get horses out the way of the, the yeah. truck. Yeah. That's all he did. Yeah. So when he died, I'm like, well, thank God. Good riddance. Yeah, yeah. yeah do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it wasn't sad at all. It was like... No. To be honest, I, I was I was surprised at least at how he died. Yeah. Because um, that was... I don't know. I, I guess you sense something's wrong in that scene because it's, it's X-24, isn't it? It's the other Wolverine, yeah. like the fake Foverine. Fo- yeah. Um, who does him in. And that kind of comes as a bit of a shock, but it's more of like a jump shock. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a... I don't know how to... It's not a very clever surprise. It's just, oh, and surprise, now I'm going to now I'm gonna knife yeah. you in the chest, you know? I, I just didn't... I just didn't understand, like, those sorts of scenes. Sure. Like, but, oh, I don't know, mate, it annoyed me. But the one thing I did really like about it... Yeah. ...was... Um, <laughs> I, I dislike it so much, I've forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? Um... It will well, come back to me. Does it? What, what did, did you think? What did I think? For me, I probably liked it more. Yeah. Uh, only I because now. I think. Go on, no. Well, no. Do you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Do. Do. I on. liked. I liked how it wasn't like. It was a personal story. That's what I liked about it. Yeah. I thought there's no end of the world. There's no like big bad. Yeah. yeah. It's just like it's a very personal and small kind of close knit story. On that, I like that. Yeah. No. Absolutely, mate. On that note, it also shows that you don't need to have an ensemble X Men film. No. You had, uh, you know, whatever you think of Deadpool. Deadpool had a couple of X Men in it, and that was kind of cool because yeah. it's the interaction of the, the. Yeah. And he jokes about it, not. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's always that when you get the best X Men stories historically, it's when you have a small combination. It's like right. How do mm. these three characters work together? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. How do these four characters do do whatever needs to do? 
Um, but yeah, dude, I, I thought the first, I think it was probably first two thirds of uh, everything bar the last act, basically, I yeah. thought was all right. I think it felt like you say the cinematography and it was awesome. Like yeah, the mood it, settings, it great. was great. Yeah, it looked fantastic. And yeah, yeah. Everything about it was awesome. I'm not Other normally a, n- a nitpicky guy with storyline and plot devices, but there were a lot of things that didn't make sense. Go on. Like, uh, okay, well, the big one for me was when uh, it's when he's okay. So it opens the film with him just wasting those those uh, yeah. thieves, the uh, the cholos. You know, he's like whatever. Yeah, slice yeah. them up. No qualms about killing people, that's fine. No, he's clearly over that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then when they knock out, uh, what's his name? The head of the, the Reavers, it's Pierce. Yeah. You know, he's the head of security. Yeah, yeah. They knock him out and Logan goes, ah, drive him out into the desert and just leave him. Instead of just gutting him like a fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, all I... of a sudden he wants to be like, oh, this guy's <laughs> actively trying to kill him and has, has said, I am a threat to you. And he's like, yeah, whatever, just go and, just go and kick him out over there. On yeah. your own, you go. Yeah, don't worry you about know. it. I can't take Stephen Merchant seriously in that in that role. No, uh, I, I don't mind I liked him. him. I yeah. liked it, but yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Him in a serious film felt Dude, weird. He's the thing is, he's not a bad actor. I can't tell you a bad thing about Stephen no. Merchant's acting. He's he's fine. I just don't. I can't. I can't get into it. I, I think it's because it. you're so expected to see comedy from him. Yeah. Dude. And he, there's that slight tinge of it, isn't there? He's, uh, he's yeah. kind of a bit cocky with Wolverine and yeah, it kind of yeah. comes across like a little bit funny. Like a bit Mother mother Henny, kind yeah. of like, you know, fussing over. And but then his his end, when the way he goes out with those grenades, just feels really false. Yeah. Because he's because he it doesn't have the gravitas to it, you know. He's trying to deliver the badass end line, mm. and it's like, oh, there's Stephen Merchant in a bold wig. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was it was it was weird. I agree. I was I was really disappointed to not see. I know his power may have been boring. I guess like sure, he tracks yeah. people, but I thought, oh, let's how is he doing that? A see yeah. like what's so good about him, and why does his skin burn? And like, do you know, yeah, <laughs> there's so many yeah. things. I was yeah. like, ah, um, Richard E. Grant. Didn't need to be in that film. Who I'm going to be um, thick now. No, he's the, he's the big big boss of oh, really? Transident who comes down after after not being in the first bit of the film. Yeah, comes down and goes right. You're going to take us to find Logan. Yeah, and then instantly dies in the last fight. Yeah, if, it doesn't. Which is fine. I don't mind fights like that. I no. think they're quite good sometimes. Um, the end fight of Last of the Mohicans is is a prime example. Where it, it's, I it's over, love that film, dude. It's over in two seconds. You know, one guy just mullers the other. Done, done, dead, and dusted. Yeah. So I don't mind that he died quickly, but it's the fact that he was such a nothing role up to that point. Yeah. Logan's super serum where, uh, that he took at the end to to get him going, and then it wore off before anything interesting happened. Yeah, that's frustrating as well, dude. Lots of bits when it. The kid's like gives it to Logan. He's like, oh, "Don't use it all at once." And he's like, "Oh, oh I yeah. wonder what's going to happen." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just hell, telegraph yeah. it right. To yeah, him. Um, um, dude. One, I have got one idea which I want to share with you about what how they could have made the ending feel a bit more satisfying. Yeah, and this is what I swore was going to happen as I was watching. I was yeah, thinking, be like, "Here it comes, dude." Here I was like, comes. "Here it comes," and then it just didn't. You know, uh, the character's name is Richter. He's the head of the kids. Yeah. He's of the the band of like... Lost yeah, like Boy the, Star- Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, you don't see his power until right at the very end when he drops the car on Foverine. Yeah. And just like, bang, you know, I can lift things and I can yeah. drop them. What I thought was going to happen was that he... Because basically, in terms of the storyline, they're, they're all the children of genes from the original mutants. Right. Like the original X-Men. So yeah. was, they share their powers, whatever. How neat would it have been if he'd have been the Professor X one? Yeah, so, that would have been cool. And if Because yeah. I was expecting it. I was like, he's going to calm... If he did like the... Yeah, if, yeah. He, if he managed to focus... You know, if, if he hadn't been able to do... You know, whatever bullshit movie reason, you know. Yeah, he yeah. hadn't been able to do it because he was too stressed or had never yeah. believed in himself. But then in that moment, he focuses his mind does the fingers on the head yeah yeah you know, which would have been awesome yeah and then calms him because think of how that would have been a parallel to the horses yeah and it could have been like ah, oh, professor x is dead but he lives, he on, lives on you know it's that kind of thing kid. and it would have made sense and he could have stalled him or, or made him you know however you want to show yeah. it. he goes docile for a bit enough for her to bang you yeah, know well, do, exactly. do him in did the other thing that um it kind of like uh, not irked me, but I was like, oh, what's going on? Is because in in X X Men Three, 
uh, he dies, doesn't it? Uh, Professor X effectively dies. Yes. He gets torn to shreds. Yeah, but then he, yeah. he wakes up in another body, doesn't he? Or it's some, his twin brother. Like it's that. supposed to be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's a bit like... Um, but dude, these fucking movies are all over the place. Yeah, I mean, they are. One time oh, yeah. he's walking bold, he's walking with hair, he's in a wheelchair with yeah, hair. Yeah. Like, dude. I don't want to get too convoluted in that respect, but like, <laughs> I actually wikipedia it after because I wanted to see like... I, I, I often after watch a film, I'll read the Wikipedia to make sure I got all the plot points. And, like, so I'm like, oh yeah, that's why. Do you know what's funny? I'm exactly the same for exactly but, the same reason. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it, but it links to the comics it's based on, which is Old Man Logan. It's called. Sure, yeah. But in and I read all about those as going down a Wikipedia hole often leads to reading like <laughs> fast things. It usually leads me back to like World War Two somehow. And I yeah, reading yeah. It for, for ages <laughs> reading all about that. But I'm reading about Nazis yeah, again. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Um, it's set in the comics anyway it's set in an alternate reality sure which explains a lot of the disconnects that I which I fought in the film I was like and that kind of made me respect it a little bit more yeah because it, in, in the comics I guess it's spoilers but I don't think anyone's going to read the comics <laughs> uh, in the <laughs> comics reads? basically Wolverine is tricked into killing all the X-Men yes and that's yeah. why he's so like oh Beat well, up about it. He won't, he won't unsheath his claws, will he? As no. Well. He's proper, like, yeah. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, he's done. Um, and I thought that was a cool story. I know if, if he had done all of that, then that would be really bad. And you'd, you can see why he lives in the desert on his own and all yeah, that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, sure. Um, and in, in that alternate universe, all the bad guys have won. And the only and all, all the X-Men that survived have had some problem means they can't use their power. Like, Hawkeye's in it, but he's blind. Yes, sure, and yeah. And obviously Professor X is in it, but he's got brain disease. Yeah. And all that sort of stuff. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. But I guess they can't really bring that in a film, like, in an alternate universe. Yes. <laughs> well, no, you know what, dude? I almost wish they would. I wish that one franchise, it doesn't work, Marvel, DC, whatever. I wish one franchise would be brave enough just to go, this is just a one shot. This, this is, is a one-off, one-off story with one-off these characters. Yeah. yeah, these characters are in it. It's great, whatever. Yeah, it's not canon or whatever. No, exactly, yeah. <laughs> not canon. It's just it just is it's a, a cool story film. about these guys, yeah. like um like a TV series would be. Hmm. You know, not I know there's there's some continuity across TV series yeah. episodes, but like the X Men cartoon, which is great. Yeah. Uh, but whenever I think of the th- whenever I think of it, I always get the Crystal Maze theme tune stuck in my head. <laughs> I don't know why. It just feels it feels quite similar, and both have a yeah, both have a weird bold guy in it. Uh, which is be is Stephen Merchant in the new Crystal Maze? Oh, Mayors. it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So he is good for something at least. <laughs> Bless him. I always, my, you know, my other problem with nothing to do with Logan. My problem with Stephen Merchant, yeah, is that it always feels like he stood behind Ricky Gervais, going, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like <laughs> yeah. shaking the fist, or else, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Gervais is there doing his thing, and Stephen Merchant's like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, backs him up, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 what he said, yeah. Mate, one We're more before funny. we move on from Logan, one one thing I didn't like about it, and it's a weird thing to pick up on. I've never sure. picked up on a film before was the amount of F-bombs it dropped. Yes. And I thought, that's fine. When he first said it, I was like, in X-Men First Class, he's in it for a short snippet, and he says, he basically says, fuck off, doesn't he? That's it. And that's his entire line, which is really cool. And when he first did it, I was like, oh, he's clearly grizzled. But then they keep doing it. And I was like, "Uh, it's It's lost that effect now. I know it's, it was the first time I picked up on that in a film. Well, dude, um, because it's the first line of the film as well. I, I remember that yeah. specifically. He wakes up and goes, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought, all oh, right, here we go. This is... Yeah. But then when... Pa- I mean, Patrick Stewart's swearing is funny. Yeah. Until he's doing it every... Like, it's, it's every line, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's another thing I didn't like about it. Yeah. It's because... It, and this is one of the things, actually, that I wanted to talk about was, I think a lot of the... Because it's got really good reviews... Everyone's it raving does. about yeah. it. Still, you know, and it's it been out a while now. I think some of that is just because of the R rating. Yeah, I think it's because they went, you yeah, know, right. We're going to push to make it gritty and hardcore, and people have gone, oh, you see the guts coming, you see all the blood everywhere. Yeah, it's like it's almost played up to it a bit too much. Yeah, uh, you know when a three D movie, yeah, yeah, like a three D movie has lots of things that stick out the screen at you, and you go, yeah, oh, there's the three D yeah, by yeah, the yeah, way, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, or is it there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it felt a bit like that. Like they deliberately said, "Right, well, we're going to give this a harder rating." Yeah, let's so. use it to the full. yeah, yeah, to the fucking fullest. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> um, but no, overall, man, I, I, it wasn't a bad film. I don't no, know. I don't, why, think, I don't uh, think it was bad. I just didn't didn't like it. I felt like a dick. So come out of the cinema, everyone's like, "Oh, it's awesome." I was like, "I actually uh, thought it was crap." But <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you why. Yeah, yeah. Let me sit you down and run you through all the points I didn't like, like. No, you're wrong. 
Um, did you? This is just as a short aside before uh, before we get into the real meat of the of the final segment of the podcast. <laughs> um, you saw that video I sent you. Uh, that one done by ben, yeah, dude, that was really about. good. Re- right, um, I will link this uh, for yeah. you to to look at as well. Because uh, you showed me every frame of painting yeah. originally, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, which is which is pretty cool. Mm. It's it's kind of like that. It's just a very intelligent look. Uh, it's one it's one specific thing, isn't it? It's uh, in the Winter Soldier. Explain it for the audience. Well, to 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 summarize, it's uh, a, a critique of one aspect of uh, Captain America: The Winter Soldier, which is arguably one of Marvel's finest films. It is. It's a very very good film. It's really very good. solid film. Considering it's Captain America and a sequel, it's yeah, a you'd rare, think, yeah, yeah, with a rocky start from Captain America, that first yes. one, not it's, mm, it's a, yeah, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah okay. it's all right. Second one, stunning, really, and still is, still is one of the better ones. Yeah. Um, and it's basically just a, a little bit of a video essay on why why did they choose to take off the Winter Soldier's mask and then leave it off? Yeah, but it's it's really cleverly. I uh, mean, I, and I love videos like this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's intelligent. Good. Yeah, you know, deconstruction of it. But so, he's right when he he talks about how menacing he is with that mask on. Yeah, and when it, he's right because I remember when it came off, when it does come off, it's not until you think about it after you really realise. But when it does come off, he he seems way less intimidating. Yeah, but when he's got it on, he looks like yeah, a cold, lean, killing yeah, machine yeah. sort of thing. Well, the point he makes is Sebastian Stan's got a really emotive face. Yeah, which is good for some things. But not, you, yeah, not when you want him to be merciless and kind of. As a side note, just to wrap this up, do you think Sebastian Stan looks like a young Mark Hamill? Um, I've never made that connection I'll, before, I'll, but right. I, can, I can kind of see where you're coming from. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll show. I will. I might link to a to a couple of proper uh, pictures. Yeah, and, and I'll show you later. You should. Yeah. But yeah, actually, I'll tell you what. I'm going to get him up now. Just while we're talking, <laughs> just you picture. Um, oh, come on. Right, this is going to be reliant on my internet actually working enough to get a JPEG up. <laughs> come, on. come on. Come on, Sebastian. No, but because I, I was thinking about this when, they, when they're when they making, obviously, the new Star Wars films. Yeah. Uh, is that he could actually stand in for a, a young Luke Skywalker quite well. Right. Uh, uh, here we go. Yeah, there's some pictures. Like that. Yeah, do. Okay. So down... This is great again. This is great on a yeah, on an audio media. I can see it now. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but just Ben's showing me some pictures on his phone <laughs> of a man. <laughs> of, of a man. <laughs> um, yeah. If, if look, look up Sebastian Stan on Google and just check it out. See what you think. Leave me a message. Young Maybe, Mark Hamill. Young Mark Hamill to replace you know any any young Luke Skywalker roles that need to be filled in future uh, future Star Wars movies. As we're on the topic of Mark Hamill, yes. Um, did you see? He obviously does the voice for the Joker from Batman, like the animated yes. series. And he's he's the best one because he d- he does it for like the um, Arkham series of video games yes. as well. Yeah, yeah. He is like the best Joker voice, and he started reading out a few of Trump's tweets in in the, as the Joker, right. and it's That's so brilliant. good. I can't. I don't think. Did we talk about that? I, don't I think, think we so. have. No, I think this is news to me, right? It's so funny oh, when he, when he dude. reads it because some of his t- tweets, if you read them in a certain way, seem really. I mean, they're erratic anyway, but they yeah, seem yeah. ultra like, really just unhinged. Erratic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's totally unhinged. Especially when he adds in the big laugh yeah. between like each second. Like, yeah, yeah. Man, I'll do you a trade. I'll trade it, uh, to repay you for putting me onto that. Uh, is it uh, is it supervillain president? Have you oh, seen no, this? I haven't, no. That's where, it's where someone's taken, again, Trump tweets, yeah. but put them over Red Skull, like, <laughs> oh comic book God. panels. So he's going that's like, amazing. why don't people just like me? <laughs> no, um, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, dude, both of those worth you, Have you at. seen those Joker things? Uh, see, the Mark Hamm- have you, no, no, you not dude, heard no. Them? no, no, not at all. Oh, man. I'll, uh, they're so good. I'll get on it. We'll link a oh, few. Sure. I mean, we'll, we'll link, yeah, yeah mate, they're, they're so funny because 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 the the laugh is so mania. Yeah, like, sure, it, it's awesome. Um, dude, I'm sure I had one more thing to say about Logan, but my brain is not working today. Was it Hugh Jackman's sexy, sexy CGI hair? <laughs> sexy CGI hair. Yeah, no, it <laughs> I wasn't didn't. That. I didn't realize that, but a lot of his look was CGI. Oh, I didn't realize. Was yeah, it? through the film, he didn't actually look how he looked. That's oh what did they like tear up his face a bit more and stuff? They gave or? him they gave him grey hair. They gave him the beard. Really, the whole lot. Why yeah, they just dye his hair a bit grey? <laughs> yeah, well because he had to because he was X twenty four as well. Oh was it? oh yeah yeah sure. yeah. yeah. Of he so was. Um, I don't know if that had something to do with it or whether they literally just went. Ah, don't worry about it, Hugh. Just just look however you want to look and we'll sort it out. Weirdly, you can buy hair dye, 
that has the badgering effect. Really? Honestly. Well, I, well, how, I do saw, how do you think I get how do you think I get this? Think I get this? <laughs> I mean, it's called like it's like the professional look or something oh, like Jesus, that. Honestly, really? you, I saw it in Boots the it's other like day. The Reed Richards die. <laughs> yeah. Like the stripe it's, of yeah, it's just just the weird stripe. It's weird. Nice. So anyway, mate. Uh, after all of this, there is something more, much more important that we that we should really get to talking about. Because <laughs> Tom's a uh, man of the world. Well, traveller now. <laughs> yeah. I've been to Asia now. Fantastic. The other side of the planet. Uh, this was Pretty Hong much. Kong, wasn't Hong it? Hong Kong, yeah. Hong Kong for 12 nights and two days of travelling. So it was like two two week holiday, but really it was 11 nights, really. Yeah, yeah. Because like, obviously 12th day, we just got in the car. And then yeah. <laughs> stuck around at airport. It was, it was for a all day. funny little epilogue on the end. Yeah, it was yeah. all right. <laughs> no, mate, it was it was really really cool. Totally different. When people say, "Oh, it's be a bit of a culture shock," you're always yeah, like, yeah. Eh. But it it was not in a bad way though. It was just totally different. Oh, cool. Like, everything was different. Um, um, I have I have never been. I've never been, uh, not just to Hong Kong, to Southeast Asia, Asia in general. I've never been over that way. So I'm um, man. I'm I'm all ears, dude. I'm excited. The to hear one about thing it. that was really cool is um because. A uh, fun fact: Britain, Britain used to own it until '97. Yes, yeah. So sure. um, all the plugs are UK, which was cool. Oh man, what a relief! Uh, yeah, what a relief! <laughs> I know. God, they're, they're upside. Bonus. They're upside down, weirdly, oh. but they are the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, for God's <laughs> no. sake! I'm not coming God, don't again. Don't bother. <laughs> That's almost like a more of a slap in the face. I know. It's like, we're not doing it your <laughs> yeah, way. No, shan't. <laughs> but yeah, shan't. But no, mate, I had my adapters on me. I got there. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> and it, mate, all the all the shops had like you know their standard. Three pins. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Did you know they're the safest plugs in the world. They no, are. <laughs> dude, it's like you almost want to use all of your adapters in one big long tube of adapters yeah. just to yeah. come back around to yeah. UK again. Just, just watching the power slowly go down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really cool. We did everything to set out everything that was. We had not a list, but we had like a, a mindset of what we wanted to do. Sure, and we managed to do all of it, which okay. was really really cool. Uh, we're really happy that we managed to. We didn't have to squeeze anything in because, like, the first because it was a fifteen-hour flight, which was quite a long time. We got there and we um, the first thing is, and I've already explained this to my mates, but um, we got there at about ten to nine in the morning at the hotel. Okay, we couldn't yeah. check in till three, and obviously we could leave our bags there, but we are knackered at this point. Yeah, obviously it's yeah. probably about seven the following morning for us. We've been a, been awake sure, for like twenty-six yeah. hours or something, uh-huh. and I remember I just looked at Kelly. I was like, "What do you want to do?" Because I don't. I can't be bothered to do like you know. I was knackered. I couldn't really be bothered to, but I was excited to be there. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, our hotel was like on this just a really big main road, and um, it's funny because when we we're coming in on the bus, we drove through Kowloon because there's like three main islands: there's Kowloon, then Hong Kong Island, then one over sure. to the left, which got the airport on it, and um, we're going into Kowloon, which is where our hotel was, and it uh, it felt a bit like. Nasty, like a n- not a particularly well <laughs> well respected area. It looked a bit dodgy, and I was like, "Oh, we're in the bus still." I was like, "Nah, we'll we'll probably go past this." I imagine, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and what I'm imagining is you and your top hat and tails. Like, <laughs> yeah. going, no, 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 carry on, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not here. But um, your yeah, bus came to a stop, and I was and they're like, "Oh, um, Hitchens party." Yeah, I was yeah. Like, yeah. Um, party hitchens <laughs> but mate i couldn't believe it. the hotel was absolutely gleaming yeah, really okay. nice aircon everywhere all that sort of stuff and um the streets if you saw them on face if you took them at face value you'd think it would be a bit of a shithole basically okay. everywhere you went it was either a bit dirty or something like that but everywhere you went inside immaculate okay really clean uh, always air con all the, sounds weird but all the toilets are the same as the UK you know like a, yeah, sure. a toilet <laughs> like you know, a, yeah. the paper goes down the, the tube you know not, not like no an American toilet like a nasty ass no pan. no yeah, yeah like look at your poo <laughs> yeah look at what you've done yeah. oh cool Nothing okay. like all, so it felt like really comfortable okay which is awesome and like the um, the shopping centres there were everywhere that literally everywhere a- absolutely everywhere yeah, yeah and some of them would just be like a small entrance and you'd go down massive shopping complex oh. like, and it would go underground and it would go you know above like ground mole people were they actually mole people <laughs> yeah, down there <laughs> mole people. trading in yeah. tins and... trading out <laughs> shovels and like yeah. <laughs> pickaxes no and it was it was like incredible like we went to a place called harbour city which is like a um it's a shopping mall and it was honestly mate it was huge i can't even begin to explain how huge it was it was yeah. it was massive and it had three floors, but each floor was probably the size, and I'm not joking, would have been longer than Barnstable High Street. Oh, easily. wow. Okay. They were 
huge and it had every single shop you could imagine and it had like a lot of shops twice or three times boots? it has Does their it version of boots <laughs> Does it have trio Tri- just trio just trio <laughs> <laughs> didn't have just trio <laughs> Oh, the Barnstable Classics. <laughs> yes, Did it have a green lens? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, then, no. Don't want to hear about it. <laughs> no, but oh, honestly, that sounds it, was, mental, though. it was mad. And like the, the fifth time we went in there, I think it was the fifth time, we got lost. Right. And I didn't expect it because we went in the normal entrance. And I think we just like took a left instead of a right or something, not uh-huh. really thinking about it. And I was like, I don't know where we are. And I couldn't figure out where we had been because it all looks the same. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, my God, we're lost. And we had, we had to like go out. Do you have to like look door, at Google Maps, like, daub your face, and be like, "I am a friend of the mole people. <laughs> yeah, Grant me safe a... passage." <laughs> Secret handshake <laughs> yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Oh, cool! No, it was it was amazing, and um, the prices over there were really similar to here, okay, which was weird. Enough. It was kind of like either bang on the same, yeah, like you know, between ten to twenty quid for a t shirt, and then you take a left turn, and it would be like two or three quid a t-shirt but then you take a right turn it would be like 40 quid a t-shirt okay so it's kind of all over the shop which is kind of cool um we ate street food once yeah right we didn't again (laughs) what street food did you have i had i played it really safe and just had chicken noodles okay yeah they had like a curry beef curry pot but dude the the, i don't know there's obviously the rumors of eating dog and you know all that you know there (laughs) is don't eat your words here eating all that sort of stuff (laughs) um but we got I tried to play it safe, just chicken. Yeah, whatever sure. it was. Because it's, it's obvious when something is chicken. You, well, well, yeah, you, yeah, you say okay, that, but yeah. you know what I mean. Like, yeah. it's, it's clearly chicken. But um, it, all the meat we saw out on the street food was like really grey. Oh, dude, and, like, that's a shame. Was really gristly. It was just really low quality. You okay. could just tell, you know, it was, it was just kind of cuts of whatever. They'd clearly yeah, cooked yeah. like the whole thing and just gone like, and whatever. Then put it in. It's not to get sidetracked, but it's like uh, my girlfriend's a primary school teacher, and she occasionally brings home cakes that the kids have made, and they're grey. It's like grey pastry because they've been oh. handled and yeah, so rubbed much. with fingers. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> you're like, I will skip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pass. <laughs> I will skip that. Um, so you... yeah, we had it once, and okay. we didn't again. Callie was like, "I'm not eating that again." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll happily eat in chains first yeah. bit, which we yeah. did. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Well, we didn't we didn't have any food included at all because oh. it bumped the price up so much. So I ended up spending most of my money on food, which was fine. I kind of expected that anyway. Um, but the thing I probably enjoyed the most, so I know I'm banging on now. But No, sure, mate. Right? We went up the peak, which was awesome, which is like the yeah. highest place in Hong Kong, which I'm sure you saw the photos for. It's, it's the classic Hong Kong photo. Yeah, you know, yeah. The skyline, sure. you see all of it. Super high up. It was like the Linton and Limbuff steam railway thing wow. on steroids oh was, wow <laughs> oh you know, well steady on yeah, you know when you're in that and it kind of, the chair goes back a bit and you kind of go up yeah on this the, the chair you start climbing it's like oh that's fairly steep and then oh, I'm going further back oh that's where we're going to be while we go up <laughs> dude there's a there's a phenomenon it says on the side if you see the buildings because of the the way you're angled the buildings yeah. like that but when you're going up they look like this Oh. Because of the, the the way you're going up, yeah, and the way you're looking at them, it makes so like, them appear bent. So like they're leaning into yeah, it. Yeah, it's really oh, weird. Cool. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Um, and we went up to the seventh tallest building in the world. Wow, which What's, was what is it? I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was like it was a really weird thing because they kept like they're really proud of it being the seventh. Yeah, you know, it's really yeah. weird. It's like <laughs> yeah. they had the top ten. It was like and here's that number <laughs> seven yeah, like, on the top. Yeah, not 10. like one or two. Yeah, or like top five. It's like yeah, number. Don't seven. worry about that. Had all these smaller ones done in. It's like oh, I thought to. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah not even on Shorty, the top ten. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, that was great. That was amazing. Awesome. Like, the elevator we went up in that was. It's a weird thing to get excited about, but it was it was so fast. My ears, like I could feel my ears popping every other second. Oh, Jesus! I was like, really? and you felt it. It's like, you, and there's like a picture of it going up, and it was bloody flying. It was like, yeah, Phew. yeah. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh Christ! It sounds really like like Blade Runnery. It sounds really sci-fi. Yeah. Well, dude, at night when it kind of it does kind of come to life. It sounds really lame, but when mm-hmm. a city at, that city at night did come to life. Sure. All the neon signs, all that sort of stuff. You know, they're they're all, all fighting for space on the streets. You know, there's, there's signs everywhere. Yeah, and they're yeah. all lit up. They're all trying to show off something. Yeah, it's, it was really cool. It was amazing for photography like I it was bet, absolutely yeah. amazing i took so many photos did you, are you have you posted any of those photos up anywhere or? i haven't okay. um yeah i've got them all. i don't know why i haven't chucked them up yet but i'll never do it tonight yeah okay well, if you do we'll, um, we'll link them up yeah yeah, yeah that'd cool. be cool actually 
Actually, you know, yeah, I'll I'll give you a link to my OneDrive and you can see them all. We'll see. Okay, it's cool. cool. Um, but the one place we did go to a lot was Temple Street Night Market, oh, which okay. has got which is everything there was pretty cheap, and um, they sell kind of everything, everything. And I got Ben a present, but I've got a feeling he may have he might know what it is off the bat. But okay. I'm going to hand it to him. Oh, now. awesome! This is this is well, man. This is like a live. Yeah, this un- is live. Un-bagging. Ben hasn't <laughs> seen this. Um, so I'm going to give it to Ben, and he's going to describe it to you. Um, he, you might know what it is straight away. Okay. But you might not. Okay, I'll, I'll cool. leave it to you to figure out. Figure out. Right. So is this like a puzzle? Oh, it looks like a, like a puzzly thing. Is this, or... Oh, okay. It's well, okay. Right. So to make this good podcasting, <laughs> it's a small cube about an <laughs> inch across. Um, yeah, it's like it's plastic, it's white, and and it's got lots of doohickeys on it. Explain the oh do- man, <laughs> dude, that's so satisfying. It's like what? Well, okay, so there's so it has a different each each different side is a different uh, is a different doohickey. <laughs> so there's one that's like a like an analog stick. Yeah. That, oh, it go, oh, it, oh, and it does it in, does it. click in as well. There's one that's just oh man, that's just a switch, dude. This is amazing. It's um yeah it's because right I quite like the ball the ball oh, yeah <laughs> now that's now that's the line we know we've heard before no dude you know what the thing is you because you've seen me do this because we sit here you know we record the podcast and I will always fiddle with things yeah I'll I'll be twiddling the pen yeah my favorite and I do this when we're in the studio as well is I I have my pen knife I have the bottle open on my pen knife just yeah. keep undoing it doing it doing undoing it, it doing yeah. it and it's a weird kind of thing dude I I always have to be playing with something with my hands and that's dude I could I could do this all day long. Uh, is this what this is for? Because it doesn't do anything else, does it? Do you just play with Dude, it? That is, it's called a fidget box. A fidget box. That's Man. all it does. Dude, this is cool. You know, that one, there's, there's, a, there's <laughs> that, a side. That one's the weirdest there's a, one. There's, it's there's, just a smooth side. The, yeah, there's a side that has like a little, like a fingerprint shaped, just uh, a recess in it. It's just a, and, like man, a it fit. weird groove. Oh, Dude. This is. Man, I think all of the sides are really good. Yeah, but yeah. I the... think there's one side that's not so good. Okay. Which is just the, the five. Oh, the, that one. It just feels cheap. That one. I mean, it was uh, cheap. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah. Let's it doesn't feel it. like it was you one might... pound fifty, but. Oh, okay. But um. It, yeah, it's not exactly. It's not twenty-four like carat. All the other ones have. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's. I like that one. Yeah, that's, that's cool, man. If I'd have to get my, there's one where there's like a little circle that spins around. But it means you can make the little like, <laughs> like if you're tempting a cat near, you're just like. Yeah, Here you go. Kind of does Here that. You, go. you can practice that. The switch is quite good. There you go. There you go. That, that's, that's, that's my that's, gift to you. That's how you gift. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Dude. Oh man, I it. thought you were just. Sh- Dude, I thought you were just showing it to me. Oh man, I, I, you can't I love see it. the t- you can't see the tears on the podcast. Although <laughs> now it's going to be like every week it's like so. Ben, yeah. what do you think of the new <laughs> Spider-Man movie? Well, it's it's Put pretty that good. <laughs> Dude, thank you, man. You That's... said you tweeted you were like, Tom, get something for the for the Yeah, but like, what a oh, year. Yeah. Oh, Dude, I'm I'm annoyed That's because amazing. before you before you said it, I posted on Twitter like uh-huh. the important stuff I bought that day. Do you remember it was like a spinny thing? Yes. And yeah, a yeah, yeah. right, I'm I'm putting this down now, <laughs> by down. the way, right? So it won't and harm anyone. The other thing I bought, these are already cheap, they're about a quid each, was the um the fan that just plugs into the iPhone. Yeah. And that's all it does. Like it plugs in, the fan switches on. And um, <laughs> yeah, I, I laughed at it. I was like, who would use that? And not even joking, yeah. we were, where were we? We were in, back in the room and it was before the air con had come and I was like, bloody hell, I'm hot. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I know what could give me instant <laughs> yeah. relief. And then I broke it in. I was like, it's not bad, actually. <laughs> well, dude, it's the same with, it's the same, talking about knives, it's the same with that. People always joke and go, oh, what are you carrying that around for? What you got that fan on your phone for? But they're always laughing at you as you're using it. Yeah. You know, so it's like, this is why I've got it. That's why. Dude, those spinny things as well. Um, Cali bought one as well. They're so addictive. It's just, it just spins around. You hold it in your hand and, and you it's, sing it. I right. It's um because it's like a it's like almost like a little tri not a triangle but like a uh, is it that sort of it's shape? It's like a windmill, isn't it? Like yeah, but it's got four four bearings in it, like a skateboard bearing. Oh, okay, yeah. And then you you hold it in the middle and you spin it. Yeah. And it just keeps on spinning pretty much endlessly. Oh, okay. We're and it makes need- a really satisfying like. Oh man. Dude, we're going to need to link pictures and all videos or something. Yeah. This, is, this is terrible, terrible content. Terrible. <laughs> Just how excited we are about maybe, this. Maybe the the um, icon could be a picture of all, all yes. three. Yeah. And then, then people can see <laughs> yeah. it. It's like, this is what we're talking about. I, I can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can actually. do that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. 
Dude, it was it was awesome. Like I said, we would, we would go back in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Um, we wouldn't go for quite as long if we go again. Okay. Because two weeks was quite um, two weeks was good for a first time, but we because it because it was a city break. I guess you don't feel quite as relaxed. I didn't come back feeling relaxed. Like we no, didn't sit sure. in the sun. Like it wasn't that sort of holiday. Yeah, yeah. It was like go around, explore something every new every day. I went to a zoo, which was free. Which was awesome. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, it was great. It was it was just so so different. It's almost I said this to a few people, but it, it's so hard to describe how different it is. Sure, because okay. despite some things being the same, like the plugs and <laughs> well, the, well to- that. Yeah, yeah. the toilets, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just um, everything was like I don't know, man. It was it's was hard to explain. It's just what, so different. What were the people like? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All nice. Everyone spoke English. Didn't meet anyone oh, really? that couldn't. Wow. Okay. Everybody spoke English. We there was one point where we're on the waterfront, and um. I think it must have been our gleaming white skin. Right, yeah. The porcelain uh, Yeah, look. the porcelain yeah. look with the, the cap on and the yeah. backpack that must have given it away. And the, the Let shorts. Me guess. You're not from around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, these kids um, must, must have been about eight, eight or nine, okay. mate. Not old at all. And um, Were they up to no good? No, they ca- you know You know in geography, back in school, when you're given like a bit of paper and it's like, go out into the high street and ask these people, how oh. did you get in today? Uh, what did you come into Barnes before? You know, that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. They had the English version of that for them so that they, bless them, they're all really sweet. They all oh, come up cool. and they, they can obviously see that we're not yeah, we're European yeah. or whatever or in, I don't, something came off that was really English about yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, excuse me, can can we ask questions? And it's like, oh, yeah, of course you can. Of course you but can. But <laughs> they hold up the paper like this while looking at you like like this. So I'm, I'm holding up an imaginary paper like looking at you like this. Hello, I would like to ask you four questions today. Is this okay? <laughs> and then look at you for the answer. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's fine. And then go back to the paper. <laughs> but bless them, they're really sweet. And then oh, they awesome. ask those questions like, what do you do? Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because like, rather than explain like I'm a media technician, I was just like, I'll just go with teacher. Yeah, it's, they must yeah. have been shown like teacher, doctor, or yeah, like, you know, that yeah. sort of thing. And like Kelly said, oh, I'm a receptionist. And they, were, they looked at her like, <laughs> shock look come, they're like, they, come again and they're like can you spell it and she's like R E C I was like you better spell it right yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. receptionist isn't the easiest one to spell <laughs> and then we got stopped by another three kids after that because they're in little groups okay and um, after the first one I was like just say you're a nurse yeah it's yeah. easy they'll know how to spell it they would have yeah, seen yeah. it on the books like yeah, that sure. just go nurse but um, yeah they had to take a picture of you after Okay. So like, oh, can we have a picture? They all had like these Samsung tablets, <laughs> and um, they all they all gathered round, and one of the groups would like do that, and then dude, all of them threw up the peace sign. Yeah, they, yeah. Sort of, I don't want to generalize the Asian population, but they love throwing up the peace sign. Yeah, sure. just like that. You Everything. do see it a lot. Yeah, yeah, they do. They're loving it. But bless them. They're they're really sweet. Man, it sounds and like you had a wicked time. It was it was really cool. It was yeah, really, really cool. Um, it man, even the there's there were days when we couldn't. It was weird. Like we didn't really adapt. We we're like going to bed at about half eleven, twelve. Sure, um, yeah. But not really getting to sleep till about four or five in the morning, just because Jeez, like it was yeah. just felt really. I was just awake, and then one day we didn't wake up till three p.m. I was like, Fuck. we've wasted this day. Oh, dude. But yeah. admit everything. Shopping centers, everything opens to twelve every yeah. day. Uh, so we didn't really feel like we'd wasted much because we were getting home from that day about twelve at night. Okay. So we'd stay out, have like some food and then just walk around just to explore more yeah yeah and um so didn't f- didn't really feel like we were wasting a day even though yeah like, <laughs> we'd woken up right. so late <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was funny because like the um hotel people kept knocking like oh housekeeping oh okay. and um we had to put they give you a little sign um, yeah but i ended up having to put that on pretty much every day before it's bed i was like i'm just gonna put it on <laughs> just in case yeah <laughs> i'm gonna <laughs> preemptive funny. strike against yeah. the housekeeping but um yeah it was awesome it was really, really cool. Oh, cool, man. No, that, it sounds like it wraps little... up the experience. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. And there'll be a video soon. Oh, awesome. To go to your, nice... uh, on your YouTube channel. Yeah. Well, not not by a video, just be the Tom Hitchens on. Oh, cool. Okay. We can, yeah, we we'll, can retroactively link. We can link, link it. it. Yeah, we'll link it. Yeah. Because well, I'll get it done by tomorrow. I've got half of it done today. Oh, fine. Yeah. Got tomorrow off. Like yeah. A make it a holiday. much richer multimedia experience, mate. Yeah. And it's not a bad way to spend a bank holiday either. Bit of video editing. Bit of video editing. Yeah, yeah it's not too bad. But yeah, that's that kind of sums up the experience, I guess. It was all good. Disneyland was really cool as well. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes, dude. How did, oh, <laughs> just throw that on the end. It's like, oh, yeah, and Disneyland. 
What Disney was, was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Have you been to one before? No, never been. Never. Um, me and Kelly went to a Paris one a couple of years ago. Or last year? Okay. Was it not? Yeah, it was last year. <laughs> um, and uh, the Paris one's really good. Like, it's set a really high benchmark. Okay. Because um, it's got, like, Disneyland and it's got Disney Studios. So it's, like, two separate parks, basically, sure. in one. But um, Hong Kong was just Disneyland. Mm-hmm. Um, so it wasn't as big. The rides weren't quite as good. But it was still just as magical. Yeah. Quote, yeah. unquote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's weird because like, when I'm not really massively into Disney or anything like that. I never ro- really watched it as a kid. Like, sure. Kelly's seen all of them and loves them all. And yeah, all sorts of yeah. But, you know, I'd watched, like, a couple. But when you're there, you, you kind of get... Because they're pumping the music... Wherever oh, you okay. are, the music from all the all the films all being pumped at you, yeah, and it's almost difficult to not get just sucked in. Dude, and just have a good time. It's just like, yeah, it's the fact you're in a child sticks it his is. hand out to Mate, open the lock on the cage. Yeah, it literally does, and like you know, all all the staff are all super happy, and everything's like everything's good there. Yeah, it must sure. be quite. A, I don't know what it's like to work there, but it must be quite a happy place. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, it was it was it was really cool. And the best thing about it before. We got the tube there. Yeah. Did the tubes as well? Super clean, and That's Hong Kong's rare. yeah, Hong Kong's not that big actually. Mm-hmm. Either there's about eight eight lines. Okay. Whereas in London there's about thirty or forty yeah, or something yeah, mad sure, like that. Sure. Super easy to navigate. Really really cool. Okay. Um, to get to Disney you have to go out quite far, but then you get a separate <clears throat> tube to Disney, and it's a Disney theme tube. So awesome. all everything, all oh, the hand rows you hold on to, all Mickey Mouse heads, and like they've got yeah. all the you know all the paraphernalia in there, and it's all like brightly coloured. Do they sing you on? Do the, the birds? There's music. The birds click to get to like welcome. No, but they have music pumping in there as well. You know, like awesome. you, they involve you the second you get there. Yeah, it's yeah. like welcome to Disney. Sort Jesus, of thing. there's no escaping from here. No, on it's out. not. Um, yeah, dude, it's cool. Oh, cool, man. Well, really dude, cool. uh, my inner child had a, just to round off with a very, very brief <laughs> film review. My inner child uh, had it louting the other day. We went to go see Beauty and the Beast. Oh, was it good? It's all, it's all right. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's a right. movie. Um, Ewan McGregor, by his own admissions, uh, his French accent is terrible. Uh, oh, throughout no. the film, is he in it a is, lot? Is he? He's in it enough. Oh, he's in no. it enough. <laughs> I think that what I heard was that they they actually got him back in again and said. No, you and you need to come back in and re-record these lines Redub it. because it's that bad. And he oh, said no. to them, "Just get someone else." Really? <laughs> so, so is so it not that... him? No, it is. No, but it is oh, him. It is. Yeah, it's his lines. Are... And it's one of those things where you listen to him and you go, "That's the best take you had." Yeah, like you're in the studio. All it day. must have been bad. <laughs> Some audio technician is tearing his hair out over this. Yeah, girl. Just oh like, man, just whatever. The French whatever. like yes. dialect guy there, like <laughs> head in hands. Yes. But it was all right. They made the beast a bit too much like Hugh Grant, a bit kind of foppish oh, really? and a bit kind of stumbling and eh, whatever. But it was all right. The songs were still. I, I do have an issue because I went. To, did you see the Jungle Book remake? Yeah, and John Favreau's Jungle Book. Yeah, like that. What did you think of the original songs being in it? Um, it didn't really affect me that much, to be honest, because because I'd not really seen. I'd seen it when I was so young. Sure. Okay. I didn't. Yeah. <clears throat> I can see your point though. Or do you, you not? I was, yeah. Feel I'm, a bit weird. <laughs> It just felt a bit weird. I don't know. It's if they'd have had. I don't know what I would have wanted though. To be honest, if they've had all yeah. new songs, then I would have probably felt weird. All, all new banging. Yeah, all new banging. Yeah, dubstep yeah, remixes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, it was fine. You know, it was fine. Mm. Um, yeah, people I was with loved it as well, and it was yeah, it was good. Kelly said good. she loved it. Loved oh, it cool. Bits. Yeah, but uh, she's a girl. Yeah, no, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, I think that's that's the show for today. It, it must be. Like, ah, oh, Tom, in that case, what are the things we usually say at the end? Where can people find you if they want to send you abuse? Or they just can a, just a happy go, face, a smiley face. They can just go at Bite Review. At Bite Review. Yeah. I'm at Benji Wanlung. Are we going to say usual. that at Teddy Hitchens is no more? No. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm still having the internal conflict about that. <laughs> at Bite Review for now. At for now, yeah. That's fine. That's what we've said in previous things it's probably, just yeah, go on we, that you've just, just locked it mate you've locked into the groove now just go on that yeah that's fine um a couple of good things uh thanks to tony thaxton for our brand spanking new theme tune yeah thank uh, you and we are on itunes now uh yeah. because now we're good into news. season two basically just the season that comes after our first initial period but well, my sponsor got in contact <laughs> and they were like 
Tom, you didn't say you were doing a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get that on iTunes. God, man. Don't keep us in the dark about no. that. So depending on where you're listening to this, you can find it on uh, YouTube. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. You can find it through Libsyn through a, if you want to download the MP3s. Uh, if you're on iTunes, you want to do it through that, you can subscribe on there yeah. and obviously download through that. Uh, and yeah, whatever, send us a comment uh, about, I don't know, whatever whatever we talked about, whatever we just finished talking any, about. Uh, any rubbish. Yeah. What did you think about Logan, if you saw it when it came out? Are you a WeChat yeah. user? <laughs> Are you a WeChat user? Tell, no, tell us we're no, wrong. Just not. tell us what we're yeah. wrong about, about WeChat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's all for now. Yeah. So, uh, cool. Bye. Good- goodbye.